Okay, I'm gonna show you the best possible core exercise. And whether you're trying to build abs to look great on the beach, or you're trying to build a strong core, and I mean abs, oblique, lower back, a strong core so that you can remain strong all the way to the finish, especially in that final third of faster races or longer races, this will do it. And it's literally four minutes, four and a half minutes of worth of work, which is gonna attack all areas. It's gonna make you a stronger runner. It's gonna make you a faster runner and you're gonna be able to see the effects of this if you do it consistently. You're gonna see the effects in your interval training, in your hill reps, in your longer runs, overall in your running. The way, way you can really notice this is at marathon, for instance. In the beginning, everyone looks perfect. They're all Eloid Kipchoge. Arms are coming up right, toes, ankle, knee, hip, all aligned. Everyone looks fantastic. In the final third of a marathon, at that 30K, 33K mark, all of a sudden you start to see labored breathing, twisting, and what that's doing to your core, essentially that is down to a weak core. And it's that they haven't built the strength in that area that would help them stay strong in the final third. With a strong core, you're gonna be able to take time out of those people. You're gonna be able to finish strong, which is gonna mean that in the final third of a race, whether it's 5K, 10K, or a marathon, you're passing people, which is great for motivation. You're picking people off and then looking for your next victim and then going again. And you can literally make minutes or tens of minutes up in that final quarter to final half of a marathon. So here it is. Okay, so all you're gonna do, you can do this in the gym, you can do this on a tree, you could do it, I have a bar at home that I cannot not pass without going to the bathroom. And that bar is always there. It's always telling me that at least four times a week, focus on really hitting the abs and hitting the core in this way. All we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on hanging on our skeleton. And so we bring our skeleton and we just hang in there. So we feel as if we're comfortable, we can hang there for a while. If that's new to you, then it's gonna feel quite difficult. But if you engage your muscles, for instance, like that, you'll be able to hang for way less. So we're hanging on our skeleton, hands shoulder width apart, it's a nice and comfortable position for us. And what we're focusing on is being as in control of this motion as possible. We're just bringing the legs up and bringing down, simple. So you want as little backswing as possible, although in the beginning it's really, really difficult to hold a still shape, bringing it down. Think of yourself like a gymnast who's in total control. And as we bring it up, you'll be able to feel the abs contract, but as you bring it down slowly, again, you'll be able to feel the abs. Really great exercise for here, but as we're going backwards, we're then gonna see that, that lower back strengthen. So again, hanging on the skeleton, we're going up, abs, can feel them. So we're coming down, I can feel that on the glutes and lower back. So if we look at that in motion, glutes and lower back, abs, core. Okay, so what you're hitting there is the whole core, but you're also hitting the hip flexors. And as runners, we could get down and do a plank, but for me, it's wasted time. For you to go down and do maybe four times two minute in a plank, you're hitting the tricep, the shoulders, the chest a little bit, but in actual fact, what we're trying to do is to isolate the core as much as possible, but also hit the hip flexors, which the plank won't do. So what we're doing by three times 10, three or four times per week only, takes us four minutes, three or four times per week. So for the sake of, 12 to 16 minutes per week, we're really hitting the core and we're hitting the hip flexors as well, which is meaning that we're strong in that area. And you can have the strongest quads, hamstring, glutes, lower leg, core as you, as you want. But if you have problems in your hip flexors, it's just a small ligament muscle like this. And if you have problems there, it's gonna stop you dead in your tracks. You won't be able to move forward and you won't be able to train for a week or two weeks. So yeah, just really, really simple exercise. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about those exercises or other exercises, pop them in the comments below.